The best part of Creator Club is the ability to have total freedom in setting up your future save. Today I've got 10 of my favourite ideas that I've collected over the last year and I'm going to share them with you to get you started with your FIFA 23 Create a Club adventure. I've tried to include teams of all abilities, all the way from 0.5 stars to a 4.5 star team. So try and follow along creating your team with the video as I'm talking, and I'll try and keep every single idea under a minute long. If you're not interested in the idea I'm talking about, you can always skip through the video using chapters on the video's time bar. Let's begin with my favourite idea of the 10, starting in the Irish First Division. If you fancy a really long road to glory, St. James's Gate in the Irish League could be the ideal team. They're based in Crumlin, Dublin, and they were initially the football team of the St. James's Gate Brewery, which you might know as the home of Guinness. But they're not your typical factory team or a meme related to one of Ireland's most famous exports. St. James's Gate were the first winners of the League of Ireland and also the Irish FA Cup. Their senior men's team currently plays in the Leinster Senior League, the third division of Irish football. You'd be starting with the smallest budget, the oldest squad, and the lowest squad rating in the entire league, and your goal is to try and progress to be competitive in Ireland before trying to go one further and getting into European competitions. It'll probably take you around five seasons to get past the European group stages, and in that time, you can train up the Boys and Greens national team, take them to the United States for what will seem to the Irish national team like playing at home in the American 2026 World Cup Finals. Alemannia Aachen carried the nickname the Potato Beetles or the Kartoffel Kafer because of their yellow and black striped kits. Aachen used to be one of the most prestigious cities in Germany. It's where emperors would spend their time, it's where they were crowned, and it was home to the biggest church in the whole of Germany. The football team has never had quite the same level of prestige. They've only been runners-up in the first and second divisions, and they've never won a league higher than the fourth division. Their 2006-7 campaign was the last time they played in the Bundesliga, and it only lasted a single season. Alemannia Aachen are in the 4th division again and have been since 2013. Your goal is to create Aachen in the 3rd league, try and make them recognised around the world and start winning multiple promotions, getting the Potato Beetles into Europe for a second time in their history and maybe finally trying to win a division that isn't the 4th tier. If you want a team in career mode that's got a massive youth focus, then Bromma Pekiana are the team for you. In terms of active players, Bromma are the world's biggest side. They have 247 teams of different ages, with over 3,000 registered players and have a youth academy that's produced some of the best players Sweden has ever seen. However, unfortunately for the senior club side, most of them are poached before they can really have an impact in the senior squad. If any team in FIFA can be realistic for a youth-only save, it would absolutely be Bromma Pekiana. They did fall away all the way from the 1st division in 2018 to the 3rd division in 2022, but a promotion now means they are one good season away from being on FIFA 24. Playing in their famous red and black stripes, the goal is to do a youth only save and finally win the Swedish division with this famous youth club. If you're interested in one of the hardest career mode saves possible, then look no further than Klaknakudding FC. They are one of the hardest career mode saves because not only does the club play in non-league, they're actually in the fifth tier of Scottish football based in Inverness, but despite their lowly status, their trophy cabinet is actually quite full. They've managed to win the fifth tier 18 times in their history, which is a pretty crazy amount for any team at any level. Even though they've dominated the fifth tier, promotion beyond the amateur leagues in Scotland is almost impossible, with only one team from over 70 teams being able to be promoted every single season. The playing side of Klaknakudin had their best season in 1948, where they're known as the clean sweep side. They won every single trophy they entered, and the biggest stand at their stadium is now known as the clean sweep enclosure, so the goal is of course to do the same in your career mode. As a historic side, they've been around since 1885, so maybe it's time for you to give this Scottish club their period in the sun. 
If you're interested in returning a fallen giant to glory, then Deportivo La Coruña is the career mode for you. Deportivo won the Spanish league in 2000 and were runners up five times during their period where they were one of the best teams in Spain between 1993 and 2004. Deportivo declined almost as hard as they had risen. In 2010s, the former champions found themselves all the way down to Division 3. Last year, they reached the playoff semi-finals, losing in extra time to Albacete. But as Deportivo have literally done a road to glory in real life, they're now in need of another. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Players such as Rivaldo, Babeto and Roy Mackay were all parts of the rise, so you're free to scout any South American and any European countries you like for quality youth players. With a 32,000 seat stadium, a huge fan base, and being based in an isolated area of Spain, Deportivo have the potential to become a massive European force. The next team managed to win a Portuguese Cup in 1990, but you've probably never heard of them. Estrela da Amadora played in two seasons of the UEFA Cup, and they were a solid top flight team until the mid 2000s when they had a double relegation due to financial issues. So what you're going to need to do is create a squad with a really weak team and you're going to have to make yourself have a very small amount of transfer budget while having a transfer budget being the biggest priority from the board. In 2009, this club actually received a two year ban because of how bad the economic situation got. The team was fully disbanded and a new one was created called CD Estrella, but we're going to be creating the original squad and hopefully you can bring them back and get them playing in Europe once again. The next creator club is going to be one of the weirdest teams I've ever found while looking for ideas. Founded in 1928, they were dissolved only two years later without playing a single match. However, Argonauts FC had agreed to use Wembley Stadium as their home ground, with an 127,000 capacity back in the day. They were founded by England's amateur international captain, and he'd agreed with the rest of the national team to join this club if it ever got approved. Back then, the Football League was approving two new teams to the league every single year, and the team actually managed to finish third twice in the voting to join the league, first in 1928 and then second time in 1929, both times only being one vote off. So if you create this team, make sure you give yourself a nice amount of money, but maybe a poor squad to represent that they were only amateur players at the time. Give yourself a massive stadium and your goal is absolutely to try and be a Premier League giant. I would recommend you create this team in the Premier League and hopefully it's a super fun save. Further down the pyramid we have a very similar team but I'm going to recommend these guys go into League 2. Viking Greenford FC were founded as a team of factory workers in 1945. Their early years were spent touring the UK, playing as many friendlies as possible to try and raise funds for a league application. A tour of the Soviet Union in 1965 included a match against FC Desna Chernihiv, a team that played at the Yuri Gagarin Stadium, and a match that they lost 10-1. They played in Czechoslovakia in 1968, which coincided with a Soviet invasion of the country, but eventually by 2003 the money had run out and Vikings ceased to exist. They actually started off in the 14th tier and they did make it up to the 9th tier by the end of their existence, but I'm going to recommend you put them in League 2 and see how much of an Eastern European focus you can get in your team as you try and get Viking Greenford all the way to the Premier League. If you want to recreate a fallen champion in a pretty interesting league, then Beershot AC might be the challenge you want. Beershot AC were founded in 99 as a merger of two other teams, the more successful but bankrupt original Beershot and the more stable Ekeren. Prior to the merger, Ekeren had been a first division team for 10 years, while Beershot had been seven times Belgian champions, but were struggling really badly with financial problems and in the third division. The club went on to win two Belgian Cups, one as Ekeren in 97 and another as Beershot in 2005. They finished third in the league in 96 and 98, but most famously and most importantly for your save, they were famed for being part of the Belgian golden generation that's just ending now. As a club, they developed Thomas Vermaelen, Moussa Dembele, Raja Nangalan, Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld. 
Unfortunately, Beer Shop were relegated in 2013 and finally were dissolved. And that's where you're going to take over them, put them in the Belgian Pro League or the Belgian First Division and see if you can get them promoted and win a league while bringing through the next generation of Belgium super talents. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you subscribe to see more Creator Club and FIFA 23 content coming very soon to the channel. Thank you all for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, suggest any other Creator Club ideas you have in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. Thank you and goodbye.